Hey, what's up guys? My name is Haleon. I am a portrait photographer and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my camera bag. Alright, this is my Pelican 1510 case and let's see, how are we going to do this? Here, I'll just, I'll just switch this around. So here is what I'm using in 2020 currently. Uh, this is a Pelican 1510 case with padded dividers and the accessory lid, which is this. And I'll just start from, I guess, the top to the bottom. Here's where I keep a lot of my, you know, lens caps and like the body caps and everything like that and some red whips in there and some chargers actually that's the xqd reader for my nikon there's my sony charger and a wall charger for my sony a6400 which i'm recording on right now and there's like a really small gorilla pod in there and there's a b stable really low tripod right here really small and low and this is my charger for my battery charger for my Nikon in this pouch I have this is a, a battery pouch that I keep my a6400 batteries in and also my Nikon Z7 batteries in which is kind of a nice case I showed it in my last video but that's the uh, accessory lid that that I got there's a foam lid option and I think there's actually a laptop uh, lid with like a side like pouch or whatever where you can keep like the charging cable um, But I wanted the accessory lid uh, I was debating between both the uh, accessory lid and the laptop lid, but I'll explain why in a second uh, Why I chose the accessory lid over the laptop lid. Okay, so here's where I keep my a6400 Here's one of my a6400 lenses, which is the 18 to 135 kit lens that it came with that I hardly ever use. Right now I'm recording oops, uh, with the Zeiss 16 to 35 uh, full frame so it would actually be like equivalent to like a 24 to 30 or something like that and um, which is where I keep that lens in here and I keep the microphone that I'm using, which is a Rode VideoMic Pro. No, uh, Rode Video Micro in here is the one I'm, the, the mic that I'm using right now. And here is actually where my Z7 goes, and it's actually never in there, but it actually goes in there like really nicely. It's kind of hard trying to do it one-handed. I just kind of wrap the, the strap around the camera, and it's not working out very well right now. Hopefully I can get it. Um, I think that's probably close. Actually, that's pretty good. Pretty much how I have it, um, just like that. And that this is a strap that I explained in my last video, which I got from uh, Lucky Straps, and they put like stamped my name in like gold foil or whatever, right there. It's leather. It's really nice. And this is one of my favorite lenses, which is the Nikon uh, 105 1.4. This thing is really big. It's it's heavy. Just look at the the glass on that. That's crazy, man. Okay, and this is my Mivitar light that I also showed in the last video, where I can do some like lighting effects, or just you know just have it as a straight up light for for whatever situation you want to be in, or you know that you are in. Uh, I think I had it on some. Oh, no, this is just green, but it changes all sorts of different colors. Uh, or you can just have it as a standard light, which I use for video or... It's just a light, okay. And here's some tools. This, there's another light. And this is like a cell phone kind of holder thing that, you know, you can mount like a microphone on top of that to shoe mount on there. And some ND filters or one, I don't know where my other ones are. And what is, I think this is the uh, wall charger for the Z7. Uh, one of the reasons why I switched here, let me actually, oh, and here's a prism. Let me actually switch this back around. One of the reasons why I switched over to the uh, Nikon system is in, in, in my last video, uh, what's in my camera video, 
uh, I was using a a7 III, but I was actually using that for video. But I started getting uh, a lot more into into photography. I started I just wanted to do a lot more photography all the time. I don't know what it what it is, but I just I didn't do I still don't do video as much. Um, you can check out my Instagram for some of my work if you'd like to see that. The link will be in the description box below. But I found myself. Uh, in my in the California vlog, you know, I was talking about I kept wanting to do a lot more photography, so I started to switch over and like kind of into photography. And I've always said, uh, this is my personal opinion, but if you are looking for video, go with Sony or Panasonic, you know, so, or just Sony for video. And if you, you know, are looking to get a camera for photography, I always said, in my opinion, uh, Canon or Nikon. So when I started doing a lot more photography, or a couple of my good friends, uh, Mike Hall and Paige Kilgore, they use Nikon, and I just really like the look of it. And I mean, you, you can say, you know, whatever you want one way or that way about Canon and Nikon, you know, cause you know, a lot of people say they like the color science, which is fine, which, you know, if you like a camera for the color science, fine, whatever, whatever you, want the camera for but you know you can always change that stuff like the color science but like as far as like the natural color like uh, straight that it comes from uh, the camera I totally get that so that's why I like Nikon a couple of my really good friends use it I know they don't know that that's why I chose uh, to go with Nikon versus Canon which I, I like Canon I think the Canon ESR um, is really good at both video and and photos but I really like the look of Nikon, and that's just what I went with. This uh, Nikon Z7 it has a 50 mil right now, 50 millimeter 1.4 on it right now with the uh, FTZ adapter. Um, they just haven't come out with uh, the Z lenses with like the uh, 1.4 yet, so I'm just kind of waiting on that and just buying like the F mount glass with uh, and just use the adapter but uh, getting back to the video what I was saying before why I decided to go with the the accessory lid over here with the Pelican 1510 um, is because I, I pair I pair this case with my Langley bag which I showed more in my last what's in my camera bag video so this is pretty much a what's in my camera bag video but just kind of like a hybrid, I guess, because I, I like to carry around this case, like when I travel, like when I, um, you know, go on road trips or something, uh, this case is really nice. I pack everything in here and, you know, you just shut this case. It's super durable. The hinges are really tight. It's got wheels. Um, it's got one of these extension, I don't know what the actual term is called, but um, so you can wheel it around. The wheels are super nice, very, very convenient when you're like walking through like, you know, if your hotel room's like on the seventh floor, room 15, 12, way at the end of the hallway, you just, you know, get out of the elevator and just wheel this thing uh, right along. But with this being such a, you know, heavy duty case, um, it can be kind of cumbersome to, you know, haul around like in the streets or whatever you're doing. So let's say, you know, you're at the hotel and you're gonna go do some street photography or, you know, go to some locations. What I like to do is I like to pair this case with my Langley bag here. And the nice thing about the Langley bag is uh, what I like about it is I can load up this front element here uh, with usually my 105 is right here whatever I want like right here and the charger the batteries I got my flash in here uh, I think there's some more accessories and batteries and what's nice about this is like you can carry like the stuff that you want to bring along like in here so I pair it with this Pelican case and then I just put the stuff that I know I'm gonna go on location with uh, in here you know and then just you know you just seal this up and up here is like a really big pouch where you can you know put a hoodie or I'll just, I'll just show you guys I did this in my last video too but I'm not sure how much I showed in depth okay so 
There's like all the stuff that you can fit in this big pouch up front here. And that's what I like about this bag is it's, it's not like just a camera bag, or at least I don't use it as just a camera bag. And it's got like side pouches where you can carry uh, more accessories. And you know, you can put some more stuff in here like the my Mivitar light or something. But the laptop, no, I should have showed you that while I had that open. Oh, I do have it open. Right in this sleeve here is where my laptop goes. So that's why um, I decided not to, this is actually getting really heavy, but um, that's why I decided uh, not to go with the laptop lid on the uh, 1510, uh, which is actually like TSA approved as a carry-on. If you want to look it up on Amazon, it's the, I know I keep saying this, but it's the Pelican 1510. They make a 1535 Air, which is like 40% lighter. Um, I went with this one because it's a lot more rugged, but this will actually, you can carry this on and it's dimensioned to like fit in the overhead. So like spec'd out to fit in the overhead, which is a really nice thing about that. So like for all you travelers out there that go on airplanes a lot, this thing qualifies as a carry-on. But anyways, uh, this video has probably gone on a lot longer than I intended. Thank you all very much for watching. My name is Haleon and I will talk to you all later.